Hey, good morning, friends. It's great to be with you this Thursday morning. Of course, Thursdays are Thursday Pray Day. So I want to encourage you, grab your hot coffee, grab your hot tea, and let's dive into God's Word this morning. And as we're diving in, I want to encourage you, if you just found us on Facebook, would you please like and follow Trinity Fellowship Church? That way you'll get all the alerts when we go live for BibleCast every Monday through Thursday. But also, if you're on Facebook and you have any prayer requests at all, would you please type those in to the comment section? And when you see a prayer request come across, be sure to reply and let folks know that we're praying for them. We've seen some amazing things happen when we pray for one another. And so it's a very important thing for us to be doing. Also, if you're on one of the other platforms, YouTube or the podcast version, you can always email us at biblecast at tfc.org. All right. We're going to be doing something just a little bit different on this Thursday Pray Day. I'm going to start in Matthew chapter 6 with the Lord's Prayer, and then we're going to go to Psalm 23, a very uh, commonly known psalm, some of you probably know, because I want us to understand something about prayer. You know, prayer is the most powerful thing that we can do. You know, I I get so frustrated, and I know Kim does as well, when we're talking to somebody, it's like, well, all we can do is pray about it. It's like, what do you mean all we can do is pray about it? When we pray about it, we're talking to the creator of the universe and asking for his wisdom and intervention in a situation. I mean, oh my gosh, praying about it is the most powerful thing we can do. But so often we don't go there first. And so I want to show us very simply how we pray using the Lord's Prayer as a model. And then I want to show you how to pray through scripture using Psalm 23. So here we go. Let's go to the Father starting with the Lord's Prayer. Psalm, I'm sorry, uh, Matthew 6 verse 9. Jesus says, pray like this, our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. Now, he's saying something right off the front. We're praying to our Father who is in heaven. So, Father, we come to you, and I'm so thankful, God, that as we're praying, we get to pray to our heavenly Father. We're not praying to some distant, you know, unknowing, uncaring being. We are praying to our heavenly Father who loves us and cares for us and uh, has every detail of our life in hand. You know the number of hairs that we have on our head right now. You know the thoughts of our heart. You know what is coming before us. You know what's ahead. You know our past. You know everything and you care and love about it. So Father, we're so thankful that we as your children have the honor and the privilege of coming in to your presence and praying directly to you. Verse 10, may your kingdom come soon and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So Father, that is our prayer this morning that your kingdom would come, that your kingdom would come in our families, your kingdom would come in our businesses and in our schools, your kingdom would come in our communities, your kingdom would come in our church, that your kingdom would come in every aspect of our lives. God, we want your kingdom. And in praying that prayer, what we're saying is it's not our kingdom. So, Father, this morning, as we're praying to you, we lay down ourselves. You know, Jesus told us to take up our cross uh, every day, to lay our lives down. God, we just acknowledge you to or acknowledge to you this morning that it's not about us, it's all about you. Your kingdom come. We want to see your kingdom advanced. So show us, Father, any area of our lives where we are trying to make our kingdom grow and we're not focused on growing yours. It says, Give us today the food we need. So, Father, thank you for the provision. We're asking for provision today. And I'm asking for all of us as we're praying, God, that you would just give us abundant provision, everything that we need. And God, thank you that you want us to pray in daily buckets. Give us the food today that we need, not for the week or the month or the year, but God, help us to recognize that we can trust in you day by day and moment by moment. So as we come this morning asking for provision, we're just thankful that you as our Heavenly Father provide what we need for today. Your mercies are new every morning. Your favor that we need for today. Your provision of just financial resources that we need. If somebody's needing transportation, we ask for the transportation provision that they need this morning. Father, give us whatever it is that we need today as we trust in you. And it says, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Ah, now this this is a good one. And Jesus is saying, God, help us to forgive us in the exact same way that we forgive everybody else. That's a great reminder that we're to have complete forgiveness in our heart. There's not to be any unforgiveness. So Holy Spirit, this morning, show us if there's any unforgiveness in our heart, any unforgiveness towards a spouse or a a parent or somebody that we work with or somebody in our past, even, even maybe years ago, a grudge that we've had. Father, let us be clean of all of that so that we might be forgiven 
in the same way that we forgive others, God, let us just release them. It doesn't mean that we're saying what they did is okay, and it doesn't mean we have to go right back into the relationship without boundaries or anything like that, but it does mean we release them in our heart, and we turn those people over to you, and we ask for you to bless them because you are a good father. And it says, and don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. And God, that's what we pray. That today, as we go about today, that we would stay on the path, that we would not be pulled aside by the evil one, we would not be pulled aside by the devil to be tempted, but that we would stay pure and stay straight with you. So thank you. Give us strength and fortification in that. All right, now I want to jump over to uh, Psalm 23. And of course, this is a psalm of the Lord. And we love praying the psalms because when we're praying a psalm, we're actually praying God's word back to him. So in the spirit of what we were just doing there in the Lord's Prayer, let's continue with Psalm 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. So Father, thank you that that's who you are that you are our shepherd. You guide us. You direct us. You protect us. You lead us to all the provision that we need. Father, let us be the most sensitive sheep on the planet. Let us be those who are so sensitive to your voice and so sensitive to your spirit that as you're guiding us today, that literally as we're walking down the hall at work or as we're walking down the hall at school or as we're on our drive going to wherever you've called us to go to, let us be so sensitive to your spirit that if you redirect us, we're willing to go a different way. We're willing to be sensitive to your spirit for whatever it is you have for us today. And thank you that you do lead us to places of rest and protection and peaceful streams where provision is abundant and readily available. And thank you that you renew our strength. And Father, so I ask this morning for renewed strength for those that maybe are just going through a challenging time. Maybe they're dealing with physical issues or dealing with relational issues or dealing with a loss. Father, thank you that you renew our strength, that we are strengthened in you as we rest in the places of rest that you give us and that you guide us along the right path to bring honor to your name, glory to your name. It says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. And this is uh, uh, the rod and the staff. This is indicative of the authority of the shepherd and the authority of God. And it's meant to guide us, but also to fend off the enemy. So it, it's, it's literally the rod that guides us and then the staff that beats away uh, the, the enemy that would come to attack. So Father, thank you that you are close by. Even if it looks like we're going through the valley of Baca is actually what the psalm literally says. If we're going through that valley of, of despair, if we're going through that time, a season of life where it just seems like everything is surrounding us and coming against us, God, we can trust in you and in your provision and your protection and your guidance. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. So, Father, thank you that even in the, the aspects where it feels like the enemy is around us and our enemies are surrounding us, you prepare a table for us there. That is where we have provision. That is where we get to sit down and dine with you, literally right in the middle of our enemy. And so thank you that that's the kind of God that you are. That's the provision that you have for each one of us. And that's the faith that we can have. And so give us courage. Give us boldness. Let us be those that even as we're walking through this valley, as we're walking through whatever challenges we have, we are doing so with a boldness and a confidence, not with timidity, not with fear, but a boldness and a confidence, knowing that we are walking with you, leaning into you, to your guidance and direction, not going off on our own, but trusting in you in all things. And Father, thank you that your goodness and unfailing love pursue me and pursue us all the days of our life, and we will live in your house forever. And we're so thankful for you, Father. Thank you for prayer that we can come to you and just get everything we need to get going in the day. In Jesus' name we pray this morning. Amen. Amen. We sure do love you guys. Love y'all. And Kim says love y'all. She's losing her voice. So you can pray for her voice today. We love y'all so much. God bless.